In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up the home page for the 2 Moodle WordPress theme. So when you activate the 2 Moodle WordPress theme, the home page appears something like this. In this segment, I am just moving to the dashboard area. Under the appearance, I have a theme options tab right here. I am just clicking the theme options panel. And you can see the 2 Moodle Pro theme options panel appears right here. You can pretty much set everything on the website using the theme options panel. In the general settings, you have the option to upload your custom logo. You can upload your custom favicon. You can put your Google Analytics code. And you can put your body background image as well. You can use this text box to put up your contact details which appears on the header of the website. I'm just going to upload an image using the custom logo option. I just choose the my, my logo and I just put my contact details in the text box. And I'm just saving all the changes. As you move back to the front end and I'm just pressing the reload button. You can see my logo has been uploaded and my text appears, my contact text appears right here. If you have a multi-line text that you want to put, you can just use the BR and can use any other code, any other text that you want to put up. And save all the changes. In the next option, you can use the slider settings to Upload your slide images, headings, descriptions, and any other links that you want to put on your slider. I'm just using the upload image and I'm just going to upload and I'm just going to upload the slider for the two mural WordPress themes slide one. I'm just setting up the heading for the slide one. You can put any of the descriptions that you have. I have this description. I'm just putting it right here. If you have some button text, you can just use it right here. The button link that you want to redirect people to. I'm just using the inkthemes.com. You have the option to upload another image to the slide 2. I'm putting the slide 2 image. This is the slide 2 heading in the heading. I have the description. I'm just putting any button text that you, you want to put on the slide second and any button link that you want to put. I'm just putting the hashtag. You have the option to upload more images in the slides, slide 3 and slide 4. I'm just putting the images in these two slides and I'm saving all the changes. As I move back to the front end and I'm reloading the page, you can see your your website is ready with the slide. You have the slide one, which is the image, your header text, your te your description text, and your read more link. In the slide two, you have the slide two heading, your text, your buy now link, and it has been linked to the hashtag. You have that slide image right here. So this is pretty much about how you can set up the slider on the website. Under the home page setting. You can use the home page intro box to set this heading on the website. Other than that, you can put up your headings for this feature boxes right here on the first feature heading, any content that you want to put up. And after filling up all those details, you can save the box. If you want to upload your own custom images with their URLs, you can use the options for first feature image. You need to upload the image. You can upload the second feature image, you can upload the third feature image, you can upload your own fourth feature image. If you want to put up some tagline, you can use this. This is my new tagline. If you have some tagline button text that you wish the pay now, and if you have some button link, you can just use that button link. After filling this all these details, I'm just saving all the changes. As I move back, you can see 
my tagline has been changed with this is my new tagline pay now and the pay now has the link of paypal.com so this is pretty much all about how you can set up the home page of the two more wordpress theme if you want to change the color setting of the two more wordpress theme you can just need to put just need to go to the styling options and you can choose any of the color that you want to use for your website let's say i want to use the blue color I'm just choosing the blue color and I'm saving all the changes. Oh, my default tech color is blue. So I'm just choosing the green color and I'm just saving all the changes. As I choose the green color and reloading the page, I have the green color website appearing right here. You can put your custom CSS if you have for your own custom styling. If you have some, if you have some social links, you can use your social URLs right here. I have the Facebook and Twitter URL so I'm just putting my Facebook and Twitter URLs right here and I'm just saving all the changes as, as I move to the front end you can see my social icons appear right here over the, on the header the footer settings allow you to change your footer text let's say you want to in the place of design encoded by ink themes you just want to put your own text designed by it's my name so I'm just saving all the changes and I'm reloading the page and you have this design by Nero Chapier right here the SEO options allow you to set up the basic SEO of the website let's say I ha you have some keywords you can put your keyword here if you have some matter description you can put up here if you have some white matter author name you can put up here so this is all about the two mural admin panel and this is the theme options panel through which you can build the two mural website and it's really very easy to customize the home page according to your requirements so you just need to use the theme options panel as you have seen right here thanks for watching this video